when did voter suppression become a thing? Now, I, I mean, I know that yeah. over time there's been efforts sure. to restrict the votes of some people. Mm -hmm. Laws have changed. We mm -hmm. hope that we're in a society where everybody is allowed to vote. But it seems like overnight it went from being a thing here and a thing there to being an epidemic. Yeah, I mean, this latest iteration, obviously throughout our history, as you yeah. mentioned, there's been different times. But this latest iteration, you know, it's, it's interesting because after 2000, after what happened in the election in 2000, you had the Help America Vote Act. You really had us sort of going as a country in the direction. In the right direction. Right, in the right direction yeah. of making sure that everybody got a chance to vote. Uh, and then what happened was, and you know, just to be real about it, is that the Republican Party decided, wait a minute, that's, that doesn't really work for us. So they decided that they were going to basically target folks who are really unlikely to vote Republican and make it harder for them to vote. Let's be specific about who you're talking sure. about. When you say folks, you mean? I'm talking about minorities. I'm talking about low-income Americans. Right. I'm talking about the elderly. I'm talking about increasingly young people. And the assumption students. is these people would all vote Democratic. Right. right. And I mean, and so what happened was is they, that's when you saw photo ID laws, that sort of thing come around. Because yeah. what didn't happen, what they claim is it has to do with voter fraud. Right. You are statistically more likely as an American to be struck by lightning than you are to commit to voter impersonation fraud. fraud. Yeah. yeah. Right. So this is a political strategy is what it is. They, they pretend that it's a policy disagreement between the parties. It's not.